Hi. What's going on, party people? Kyle again here, and today you can see my lovely face. That's kind of cool. Got some new recording software, so you can look at me if you want. If not, just ignore it. Uh, but today we're talking about JavaScript. Uh, more specifically, we're talking about moving away from jQuery, moving toward native JavaScript APIs. Uh, this is the second in our series, and it's been a couple weeks. So I figured I'd bust one of these out for you guys. Um, this is on class manipulation, CSS class manipulation. Um, and you should already know like the implications of CSS class manipulation. You can add and remove a class on an element and animate it, and hide it, show it, do all kinds of stuff. Um, and more than likely, if you're using the jQueries, then you already know you already know how to do this stuff. So let's move into our project. I'm going to show you the the native equivalents and give you my recommendation, um, which is spoiler alert, very cool and very performant. So. Here we go. We have in our project a div in the HTML. That's all we got. Um, then we have our lovely CSS here. We have normal div styling. And then we have styling for a class called maroon and a styling for a class called orange. And that's because I went to Virginia Tech. So go Hokies. OK. Um, let's see. Let's minify this and make that JavaScript nice and big um, and we've got our console open and all this good stuff so I set up um, just some comments here the clash manipulation methods that we're going to be using today um, if you know jQuery you already know this stuff uh, the first is uh, detecting a class then we can add a class remove a class and toggle a class nothing special here firstly let's run through jQuery real quickly um, the very first is uh, class detection for jQuery that um, has class. So we can set this up in a variable var detect class, and we do our lovely div selector, and let's go has class, and let's just do uh, maroon. Okay. And the reason I set it up in a variable is we're going to log it. Detect class, and we will run it. And you will notice here in the console that it's going to say false. There we go. Very cool. Um, and yeah, that's class detection. Now, if we had gone into our HTML and we had added class equals maroon, now we when we run it, it's going to say it's true. Pretty cool. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. It detects whether or not you have a class, so that you can then uh, manipulate it uh, if that's your, you know, desired effect. So that's uh, class detection. Has class, right on. So let's go with add a class. So once again, we're going to target this div, and we're going to go add class maroon. Let's run it. And you'll notice it didn't change. I was like, why did it change? Oh, that's because, dumbass, you didn't uh, didn't change anything when you ran it. So here we go. Let's do orange. This will change. Yeah. Now it's nice and orange. Um, now let's go div and remove class. Let's go ahead and remove that lovely class of orange. And it should go back to the default. And it did. Pretty cool. Um, and then the final method is uh, toggle class. So let's toggle this lovely class of maroon. But, oh gosh, Kyle, what are you doing? You're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, whenever you toggle a class, you got to tie that to an event, right? So you got to do something to toggle this class. So we're just going to do a very quick uh, click handler. So every time we click on this div, it's going to toggle on and off this maroon class. So for jQuery, we do div dot on click function, and let's throw this lovely toggle class dealy bit in here, and we will target it with this. And there we go. That ought to run, right? 
every time I click it, it's going to turn it on and off. Pretty cool. Uh, I believe you can also give it a second parameter, right? And do maroon and orange. So you can toggle between these two classes. Is that right? No, guess not. Or at least I don't, I don't remember how to do it. It's been a minute. Uh, most of the time, whenever you're manipulating classes, uh, toggling between them, you're either turning one on and off. You're not toggling between two classes. A lot of times that's, that's unnecessary. So anyway, there we go. So we've got, uh, here's our one, detect class detection, two, adding a class, three, and then four. So that's all four of our different methods there. I'm going to go ahead and comment this stuff out. Um, that's the jQuery version of things. How are we going to do that with native JavaScript? Very simply, uh, there's this thing called the class list API. Uh, it's IE 10 and up, and it acts just the same as uh, jQuery. It has the four same methods. So the one difference being um, and just for, for ease of use and clarity, I'm going to set this, um, I'm going to target this div in a variable. So we're going to say uh, var div equals document dot query selector div. Rock on. So now I can just go div dot class list with a capital L. Um, and I can do contains. That's my um, class detection, right? So I can say maroon. And I'll set this up in another the same variable detect, detect class, <clears throat> and then we'll console dot log detect class, and once again it should be false. If I go up in here to my HTML, we can add maroon, and it will return true in the console. There we go. Pretty cool. Uh, does the same performs the same function as jQuery, super easy, baked in to all your browsers that are uh, IE 10 and up. Pretty cool stuff. Let me get rid of this. So now we can do uh, div dot uh, class list add maroon, and it should be the same thing, right? Just as before in the prior example. Um, we can also go to add orange and it should change now. Rock on. Now you kind of get the syntax here, right? So we're going to go class list dot remove orange. Should bring us back to our normal div. It does. And we can go to, um, once again, add a, a um, event listener, a click listener. So we go uh, div dot add event listener. Click function, and we're going to feed it this third parameter. When you're doing uh, native JavaScript add event, uh, event listeners, you have to fill in the third uh, argument, which is false, which I believe is for a callback or something like that. I don't ever use that. Um, one of these days, I'll do a video on it, and so I'll learn how to use it. Uh, so right now, let's do this. Let's do uh, div dot, or we can do this dot class list dot toggle and let's do maroon once again like in the prior example we'll run it and boom performing the same function uh, you'll see like it's the same stuff it's just slightly different syntax um, easy peasy lemon squeezy right right so here's our number one, class detection. Adding a class is two, three is removing a class, and then four is toggling a class. And just like before, I'm gonna comment this out, and I'm gonna give you my official recommendation, which is uh, a polyfill. As I mentioned, class list only covers uh, IE 10 and up. Uh, prior to that, you had to go in and manually manipulate the, the class name um, of an air, of a variable, or excuse me, of an element. There we go. Uh, so you would say, uh, let's turn div back on, huh? Okay. 
So you'd say uh, div dot class name equals actually let's do plus equals and you do a space because you'd be appending to it typically and you didn't want to like butt up uh, class names and you'd say maroon and I believe this should work now yeah there you go so that's how you would do it uh, previously and in order to uh, manipulate these classes you'd have to do like some regexes uh, regular ex regular expressions um, in order to mess about with these things uh, this cat I can't remember his name I think he works for Twitter uh, came up with this polyfill it's called classy and let me grab it real quick and essentially it is just that it's polyfill for um, class list so if you have a browser it that supports class list it goes through and it triggers the class list if you're using a browser that uh, doesn't support class list then it does all that regex sort of fanciness and uh, supports older browsers but it's my official recommendation because it covers the gamut it performs all the same functions as jQuery um, and class list all in one and it's super tiny and super performant um, it's actually faster and more performant than jQuery or class list um, and I will link to uh, those performance tests uh, from JSPerf in the uh, description below. But yes, classy.js outperforms uh, jQuery by a long shot, but then it also outperforms class list, um, which I don't know how. I'm pretty sure it's this transport stuff, which I don't really know much about, but it's, it's pretty cool. So the syntax is very easy. They've actually got it in the uh, comments up here. It's classy dot has and add and remove. Let's go ahead, go ahead and move this up so you guys can see. Here we go. So you give it this lovely class finger here. And then within the arguments, that's what you're, uh, what you're passing. So the syntax is a little bit different. Uh, you're going to pass it the element that you're manipulating, and then you're going to pass it uh, the class that you want to manipulate. Right? Right. So let's go ahead and do the same thing once again for classy, just for argument's sake. So we say var detect class equals classy.has. We're going to pass it div, and we're going to say maroon. We're going to run it. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I got a console.log it. There we go. And now you'll see that it's going to return false. We go in here, class it, uh, pass it maroon, the class of maroon, excuse me, and it's going to return true. Pretty cool. So that's our very first one, our class detection. For number two, we've got adding a class. So classy.add div orange. There we go. And for remove, classy.remove. Run it, it should go back to normal. There we go. And then finally toggling a class. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to steal whatever I've already written for this uh, event listener, this click event listener. div.addEventListener.click. And we're going to say classy.toggle. And we're going to pass it this. And maroon. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So we're going to run it. And we can toggle. Rock on. So, yeah, those are the three basic uh, methods, my three basic methods for uh, manipulating CSS classes with JavaScript. Uh, once again, totally recommend Classy. Throw it in your projects, use it abuse it. 
Uh, it's very performant, very easy. It accomplishes everything that uh, class list and jQuery set out to do, and it does it better. So until next time, guys, party on.